How do you decide which characters live and die, and do you ever put a back door in in case you want to change your mind later? Um, yeah, how do I decide? Well, I don't, I don't flip a coin. <laughs> um, no, but it, it, isn't, it isn't arbitrary. I mean, I do... Uh, actually, you'll, you'll find, yeah, you'll find some people that will say, um, the more than meets the eye, it's, all, you know, it's like, yeah... Game of Thrones, there's lots of character death and don't get too attached to, to people. And then you'll get other people that say, actually, you know what, that's overstated and, and actually not that many people die and, and the really important ones don't die and all that. So, um, yeah, I, um, it's, it's got to be, you know, it's got to serve a purpose within the story. That's I remember uh, in an interview you said you changed your mind about Tailgate at the last minute. Yeah, so Tailgate was, was, going, was destined to, to die at the end of his illness at the end of season one. But you had more story for him, so you kept going? Yes. Yeah, you should be up here, actually. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it was... I mean, that was... And that's what happens, actually, because, I mean, that, that, was, that was set... Uh, that was decided at the beginning, before SU1 came out. That's when you're planning out the whole uh, season. Um, and that was where he was going to end up. But it, was, it wasn't until I, I sat down to write the, the, that issue, actually, the part five of Remain in Light, that, um, that, his fate, he, that he was saved, really. Because there was a... There was a whole other ending. Um, it wasn't just a case of, you know, he succumbs. There was a... I don't know if I want to say too much, because um, there were some good feels to be harvested in that, in that alternate ending, and it may be that I find another way to use them, but it was going to be... I, I, I hoped it would be a sort of a really heart-wrenching ending, a bittersweet ending that was more than just about the exploration of his spark, but which pulled into the story some other things that we'd seeded in season one. Um, but no, he, so he was reprieved. Um... But yeah, when I say it's got to, obviously it's got to serve the story. That's not necessarily to say that, that the character has to have a noble, a noble death or, or um, you know, it has to um, enrich his or her individual arc. I mean, it could, it could be the reaction it triggers in other people. Um, it could, you know, I, I, I don't want to resort to this too often, but there is something to be said for a, for a shock death. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't want to overuse that, but that, that has a purpose. Um, but so, no, it's not a case of... Um, of arbitrarily deciding who's going to die. I mean, at the beginning of each season, every character has an arc mapped out. <clears throat> has an arc mapped out. And, um, yeah, and some of them end with, with that person's death. So, uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's mapped, it's, it's, it's uh, purposeful. Um, and, yeah, that's, uh, that's how I approach it. Thank you.